Alright guys, now here we are with the RTX 3090 Undervolting tutorial. Now this card is especially power hungry. In fact, it's so power hungry, I actually had to vertical mount it in my case, um, but that wasn't quite enough and it's still going at around 78 degrees, 79 right now. So here's how you undervolt it. You want to take a look at what's the frequency your card runs at, so in this case around 1750. Now once we have that, you just want to open up MS Afterburner and then lower the core clock by around 2. 250 megahertz. Now at this point you you want to hit Ctrl F to open the curve editor. At this point you just want to grab the 70, you know, 775 point. Just grab it and bring it up to the frequency of your card. In this case 1750. Now once it's there you just want to hit apply and boom your, your card will be undervolted and what this does is, is it will drop around 10 degrees. It's gonna be really good and you're not gonna lose any performance. Now, there are a couple of things to explain. At this point, you might want to actually increase um, the voltage if you, if you crash, of course, because every card is different. But if you're very lucky, you might actually want to go lower with the voltage. Uh, so you might want to grab the 750 instead of the 775. Or, and this is where it gets interesting, you might want to keep the 775 if you're happy with the temperature, but increase the clock so, for example, just bring it over to 1800, and in my case, that crashed. But in, in your case, you know, that could work, and that's going to give you way better performance. So, you know, just try and error it a bit with the same, uh, you know, way in which we do every overclock, and it's going to give you, a, it's going to give out a great result. And this is going to work for the RTX 3080, 3070, and in general, every RTX 3000s. The, the voltage points are also pretty much the same. In general, a good starting point would be 825 if you just want to you know start safe and then go lower but then again with like the 3080 uh, most cards will need around 850 so you might want to start with that with the 3090 if you're really lucky uh, you know 750 is really the sweet spot with around 1800 um, megahertz so yeah and also if you have a 3070 um, like the gains are not going to be as big because it draws less power, but it's still worth doing it.